Okay, this is the second time I'm trying to record this video because the audio was absolute poo-poo and I couldn't fix it on my computer. I had a nice little mini cry session, but I'm here to get the work done. So, I've already obviously shuffled and cut and even interpreted the cards, but I'll go back over them because I want to get this video out. So, I pulled three cards for the main spread for our midweek check-in. And um, the positions of the spread are what are we doing well as a collective so far this week? What could we be doing better? And our advice to course correct. So um, the card that we got for what we're doing well so far this week is the King of Cups. What we could be doing better is found in the Eight of Pentacles. And the advice for how we can course correct is found in the Hanged Man. Our, mm, mm. our context for this um, reading is found in the Two of Pentacles, and the deeper lesson offered is found in the Six of Swords. So going through each card one by one, uh, let's talk about the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a leader, as are all kings, and he can help to inspire and transform as all kings can because all of the kings are ruled by fire. If you remember our spread from Monday, which I will link up here in the cards so you can um, click on that if you missed that video. Um, but if you remember our spread from Monday, we had a lot of water and fire. It was just water, fire, water, fire um, with a little bit of earth sprinkled in. So that led me to lead to the conclusion that Spirit wants us this week to look at where our desires, our passion, and our willpower, motivation, and action-taking skills meet our emotional body, our relationships, and our intuition. Um, this week is really asking us to look at whether or not those two things are in harmony or disharmony. Are they balanced or are they out of balance? And the King of Cups is... It represents, um, excuse me, it represents times when we are um, very emotionally intelligent and diplomatic. When, excuse me, I keep having these little like hiccups. Um, it represents when we are really able to maintain a cool head despite whatever emotional turbulence may be happening beneath the surface. So this really represents the fact that as a collective this week, we've been doing a good job of listening to what our emotions and our intuition is saying, but also not allowing any difficult or heavy feelings to um, dictate how we move and how we act and how we interact with people. So emotional intelligence this week is on A1, so good job. As far as what we could be doing better as a collective, the Eight of Pentacles is really about consistent work that you take pride in, that you find joy in, and work that is its own reward rather than what you are accomplishing with it. Think about um, a potter who really loves working with clay. It's not so much about the ceramics that he or she is making at the end. It's about working with the material and getting better and better at it and learning over and over new things. This is the Path of Mastery card. Um, and I'm very intentional and specific with that wording. It's not the path to mastery. Mastery is not a destination. It's more an embodiment of a set of behaviors. And in order to master anything, you have to be a perpetual student. Masters are constantly approaching their um, subject with the beginner's mind, with an open mind, with curiosity. And with the Eight of Pentacles, there's that consistent repetition of whatever it is you're working on which is helping you to increase the quality of it as well as your mastery of whatever that subject is so combining that 
with the King of Cups. This spread is saying we've done a really good job of reflecting and controlling our emotions and um, or I should say not allowing our emotions to control us and being considerate as far as how decisions will have emotional ramifications for ourselves as well as the people we are connected to but we could be more consistent about implementing what we are learning from our intuition and we could possibly do a better job at finding joy in the process at appreciating what is happening now what shifts are taking place in our relationships or how we're connecting to our intuition um, the eight of pentacles is really saying we could do a better job of um, enjoying that integration and that iteration and repetition of the emotional skills that we're practicing right now and advising us is the hanged man and this is the card of surrender and patience and flipping your perspective um, many decks will call this um, perspective or um, inversion because you've literally got someone hanging upside down and on the Rider Waite Smith depiction of this card there's kind of a glow of light behind the figure's head and um, he kind of looks blissful you know like it's not comfortable to hang upside down for any prolonged period of time um, I'm sure most of us learn that as kids because all the blood will rush to your head but there's always like a blissful relaxed kind of energy that's meant to be had with the hanged man card because it's a it's what we do to prepare for transition the next card in the major arcana is death and death is all about the cl like closure and um, completing a cycle um, and transforming and so in order to do that we have to surrender our like what we think we know um, because a lot of times like rigidity in expectations or thinking can actually block your blessings and we have to surrender to the evolution that is occurring in our relationships and our relationship to our own intuition and emotions um, so this is saying trust the process major arcana cards have um, big overarching themes they are not um, sorry just fly <laughs> um, they're, they're not like um, they don't they don't typically represent an experience in the day-to-day they're more so thematic and something to think about and apply to what you're physically experiencing. So if you're experiencing shifts in your relationships or what you want from your relationships or how you relate to yourself, accept it. Um, remember, we are in a week rule by the tower as per our collective reading. So things are changing quickly and dramatically and it can feel a little bit like you have whiplash like it's it's a lot to keep up with and it's difficult which is why our challenge of the week was found in the nine of wands um so advice for finishing out this week on a strong note is surrender and let spirit the universe let, let forces outside of you that you cannot control work for you. Um, and a lot of that has to do with how you are looking at the changes taking place in your life. Contextually speaking, we pulled the Two of Pentacles. Um, and this is really about learning how to adapt to change. It's about flexibility and can even indicate um, um, fun like um play and and like downtime but pentacles in the tarot are the earth element they represent resources and our physical manifested experience and the two of pentacles representing um flux really you can look at it as each pentacle is um an area of your life your finances your spirituality your um relationships your uh, your work your health and so if each pentacle represents a different area and the Rider Waite Smith depiction of this shows a guy kind of juggling the pentacles one is always going to be higher than the other meaning that some area of your life 
is the priority, gets the most attention. Um, but the thing with this card is it's a reminder that the only constant is change. Um, so that pentacle needs to shift and you need to give more attention to an area of your life that you may not be used to doing so. Um, but it's teaching you how to be flexible and adapt because life is never only going to give you what you want it to. That, that's a dream. That's not life. Okay. Um, so contextually, it's just learning to adapt um, and, and, and being okay with the understanding that some area of your life um, may have to get a little bit less focus um, and attention. Not to say you're going to just drop that ball, drop the pentacle completely, but it's a shifting of priorities. We have this kind of myth in society that um, people can keep all aspects of life in perfect balance and harmony, and that's just not true. Um, instead, it is much more beneficial, in my opinion, to practice counterbalance, in which you understand that at different times you're gonna have different priorities, um, and respecting that, and understanding that that is a healthy way to move through life, rather than a rigid, I always focus on this um, the most, and then this is the rank of the rest of the areas of my life that I give attention to. Um, you're gonna have to shift, you're gonna have to play, you're gonna have to be flexible, and there's nothing wrong with that. The deeper lesson that we're being offered is found in the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords represents mental transition and um, earned success, okay? So the transition that this card indicates is often assisted or aided. There's it normally indicates um, reaching out for help in some way. And if, again, we go back to the spread from Monday, um, we were asked to know the Three of Cups, that we have community and abundance and people who will help and celebrate us in the midst of difficulty. And so the Six of Swords being um, less about relationships and more about mental frameworks that may have gotten you where you are but are not equipped to get you where you want to go so in um seeing this as the deeper lesson offered um I, I really feel like it is in keeping with what we've talked about both from the monday video and today in that there are people who will help you who love you who want to be around you and have perspectives that you may need to get through the changes happening right now. So rather than uh, look at it like, oh my gosh, there's just so much for me to think about, so much for me to consider, so much is changing right now, rather than lament about it, remember to control your perspective, but also um, that even though the, the transition may be difficult, um, there are people who will help you and you can find a way to have some sort of joy or um, lighthearted attitude about the shifts happening because you've got community you've got you've got what you need to get this done you've got the emotional intelligence you respect your intuition you respect your feelings um, and the feelings of other people as as far as how your leadership or your decisions may affect them spirit is just saying be consistent about it and accept that this is a learning time and something that you can find joy in implementing a new process or system of review in your relationships and intuition in your life. Um, again, it just comes down to perspective and how you're choosing to look at it. But just be consistent. Learn to love the work that you're doing in the emotional realm and the realm of willpower and action and manifestation. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully this second recording will go smoother in the editing process. And um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, writingwithtarot.com, and you can purchase a spread. Or if you have any questions or anything that you would like,
clarified, um, you can scroll to the very bottom of my homepage and there is a contact me form. You can write any question that you have and we will figure out what spread would work for you, how to formulate your question and just clear anything up that um, you want to know. So uh, definitely please subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube and click the bell to be notified of my uploads because I will be uploading again on Friday to give us some weekend guidance as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, whether you watched this on IGTV or YouTube, I appreciate either one. Definitely leave me some comments and let me know if this reading resonated, was it helpful, how do you like the, the new format of my, my filming setup and everything. Um, so yeah, I am really looking forward to interacting with you guys and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching again.